Maps are awesome because they show us where to go. But how are your users getting to their chosen destination? I'm Anka Cotwell and I'm going to uncover the Maps APIs that can make this an amazing user experience. Are you using the Directions API? It's a big revelation, so let me tell you more about it. The Directions API web service provides step-by-step -step directions from point A to point B. Being a web service, it's protected by an API key and thus should not be consumed directly in your mobile app. Proxy it via your server as shown here. The Directions API can give you walking, cycling and driving directions as you'd expect, but it can also give great public transport directions. When guiding users to a destination, it's best to show them the path on a map. Polylines are a great way to show the path, but rather than have the polyline appear, it's nicer to animate it in place. In this demo, we can see the path grow, providing a clear distinction about the direction of travel. So now, we're showing users where to go and how to get there. But once they're at their destination, our app's work is not done. I really wish more apps would show me what my destination looks like because often it's not obvious which shop I need to get to. In effect, users can be left feeling lost after they get to their destination. Thankfully, there's a Maps API for that. Street View is a great way to visualize the user's destination or any address really. Adding Street View adds a real world visual element to your app and provides meaningful context for users. Users will generally expect that they can interact with the Street View since they're likely to pan and scan around the location, so be sure to leave interactivity in place. You can add a Street View panorama into your app by including it in your layout. Give it an initial location like so. It's important to maintain user context and thus the introduction of a Street View should not replace the map, but instead slide in to occupy the part of the screen like so. Here, we're overlaying a street view on the map and sliding it in as per the material design guidelines. The only change we need to make to our map is to adjust the padding values such that the attributions and Google logo stay visible and your app remains compliant with the terms of service. You can reverse the animation if you need to hide the street view. So, with guided directions and the addition of street view in your apps, users are given a visual representation of their destination. They're no longer lost on their way there, and now they're no longer lost when they get there. To learn more about adding Street View, check out the docs and sample code here. I'm Anka Cotwell, and I never want to be lost again.